Hey, what is up? Um, I wanted to share something that just happened. So in my family, like I had these shirts made up and it's called Attitude 100, right? I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe it's backwards. I don't know. I've never done the uh, Instagram live. Anyway, so I had these shirts made up for the whole entire family and the concept behind it was like whenever we're having an emotion, whenever we're having like a mood or some type of moment, we're like just like, oh, like we say to each other, Attitude 100, right? And uh, are you out? Are you, and basically, it's to say, are you acting attitude 100? Like, are you you have a good attitude right now? Attitude 100, or are you kind of being like attitude 50 or attitude 40? And so, just a minute ago, I had a really it was an interesting revelation. Um, I had to run to the store real quick and go get some lunch for my daughter. Anyway, if she was mad because um, I got her some raspberries and I got her some cookies, and then she wanted this yogurt thing at, at Costco. And I was like, no, we're not getting it. She was just like butthurt. Just like, just pissy, right? She's back there right now. You're probably hearing me talk about her. Anyway, so um, it was kind of interesting because I said, no, you know, she just got mad. She got mad. It was really fun. I said, and I was checking out and the guy, the cashier goes like, oh my gosh, Attitude 100. I love the shirt. That's a cool saying. I'm like, yeah, dude, that's cool. And then I kind of, you know, hit him up on it, what, how, what the premise is behind it. Anyway, as I was sitting there, as we're walking out, something hit me. Um, and I kind of always knew it, but the word gratitude, phonetically embedded inside of it, has that word attitude in there. And I don't think that's coincidence. I, I think that's by divine design, um, divine principle. Um, and it's interesting. And, and I, I looked at Zoe and it, just, it hit me and I was like, God, this is just a lesson for myself. But I asked her, I said, Zoe, your attitude... And, and whether or not you're grateful, you have gratitude in your life, depends on what your focus is. Is your focus on what you don't have? The yogurt. The yogurt little thing. By the way, those things at Costco are freaking amazing. Right? But anyway, back to is your focus on what you don't have? Or is your focus on what you do have? Because I think when you focus on what you don't have, you just think without. Your mind thinks, oh, I have without. I have less. I'm empty. I have decrease in my life and blah, 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 blah. And whereas if you're focused on what you do have, you start to think, see all the things in my, my life that I have. I got a thing of raspberries. I've got my naan bread. I've got my pirate's booty, this little popcorn thing that she loves. I've got my Costco chocolate chip cookies. Or, you know, from a little kid standpoint, that's what she wasn't focused on. And so that slight, just that little moment of telling her, hey, what are you focused on? It was enough to like make her realize like, oh, cool. Because right now, I'm kind of being attitude 50. And so, anyway, I just wanted to share that. I thought it was kind of a cool story. So, um, here's to my first ever uh, Instagram live.